everyone wants to be secure. People hire guards, countries invest in their defense system. But all of this is to be secure from each other. What if aliens attack us? Well, don't worry. We've got NASA to save us. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll see how NASA is going to save our pretty planet. Are you curious? Well, you should be. This time, NASA did something unimaginable. So, without any further delay, let's get started. You must be really curious to find out what sort of aliens did NASA kill or capture to save the Earth. Well, what if I tell you that now we are safe even against a bigger threat than aliens? That's right. Asteroids. NASA has been working on planetary defense systems for a very long time, and now? It has finally seen some success. Finally, NASA is able to crash one of its spacecraft in an asteroid. Wait, what? How is crashing a spacecraft a success? Well, the spacecraft DART, abbreviated as Double Asteroid Redirection Test, was designed to hit any asteroid which might seem as a threat to Earth. Basically, the main phenomena is to change the direction of the asteroid with the impact of the spacecraft with the help of its kinetic energy. This successful crashing of DART took place 11.3 million kilometers away when DART hit the asteroid with an immense speed of 22.5 thousand kilometers per hour. Telescopes around the world and in space were aimed at the same point in the sky to capture the moment. You can see in the pictures released by NASA that DART was sending pictures in real time back to Earth. It's actually quite amazing to see the way DART gets closer and closer to the asteroid before hitting its target. Of course, after the impact, there was nothing left of DART. <laughs> what? Were you expecting DART to just hit the asteroid and come back? <laughs> you must be thinking that, all right, DART successfully hit its target, but what did it achieve? Did it destroy the asteroid? Well, it was never supposed to destroy the asteroid. It was meant to change its direction. And because of the impact, DART's radio signal abruptly stopped, so it will take a couple of months to determine how much the asteroid's path was changed by the collision. But it's guaranteed that the direction changed enough so that if this defense system is used in the future, it will really defend Earth. Let me tell you a little about the target that DART hit successfully. The mission's target was a 160-meter asteroid named Dimorphos. It's a moonlet of Didymos. Didymos is a Greek word which means twin, and it's a fast-spinning asteroid five times bigger that flung off the material that formed the junior partner. This pair of asteroids have been orbiting the sun for an eternity without threatening our Earth, which made them ideal save-the-world test candidates. So, changing the direction of a huge asteroid? Well, you need a spacecraft at least as big as Titanic, right? Well, it's 2022, fellows. All you need is a vending machine size dart. Yeah, you heard me. Vending machine size. The fact that dart is so small in size yet traveled through space for 10 months and successfully hit its target in space is in itself a fantastic achievement. It's even more incredible when you realize that scientists had not set eyes on the target asteroid Dimorphos until the last 24 hours of the impact. It was too small and faint to be pictured by telescopes from Earth, and astronomers had to use other methods to measure exactly where it was so that the DART interception was timed precisely right. DART was launched in November of 2021, and all of its autonomous navigation technology was developed by Johns Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory, the spacecraft's builder and mission manager. I should have taken admission in Hopkins. Scientists revealed that DART would not shatter the asteroid. The spacecraft packed barely 570 kilograms, and its target asteroid weighs almost 5 billion kilograms. But scientists believe that it should be enough to shrink its 11-hour, 55-minute orbit around Didymos. The impact should reduce 10 minutes off that. The anticipated orbital shift of 1% might not sound like much, but scientists stressed it would amount to a significant change over years. Once it's calculated how much change in orbit was done successfully, we can have an idea of how secure we can be from the asteroids. Because dinosaurs had no idea what's coming their way, 
we surely do have. And that's the difference. We can do something about it, but they couldn't. With that being said, I'd like to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, press that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and press that bell icon so you don't miss out on our future updates. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.